And somewhere among those racers is a 34-year-old Wonder Woman named Rachel Branke. Rachel didn't expect to be here, but then again, so much of her life seems to be about defying expectations. Being a triathlete has many benefits. It's added to the quality of life for my whole family and for myself. We're more active, we're more intentional and purposeful when we're together. And it also allows me to be more intentional when it comes to my career. When I sit down to work, I gotta get it done because I gotta head out for an 18 mile run right after. After the birth of our fifth child, Evelyn, she's now three, I decided it was really time to start losing the weight. And so I decided six weeks that I would try my first triathlon, went and bought a bike, hadn't ridden since probably middle school, and did the try and I've been hooked ever since. My biggest role out of everything I do, I think, is being a wife and a mother. You can't get away from it and I wouldn't want to anyways. It's an always on the go marriage. From the day that she got accepted to law school, she made it a goal that she was going to be a lawyer, she was going to be a mom, she was going to run a business. And now, she's a consultant to thousands of entrepreneurs. So the majority of my entrepreneurship has been self-taught. I mean, you can look at the degrees and the diplomas hanging on the wall, but to be honest, I didn't learn much through the formalized education. I learned the most from just being in the trenches and figuring out what needs to be done. And there have also been lessons never to be forgotten from a very different kind of struggle. I don't really fear failure, but I think a lot of what I do in the year to succeed probably does arise out of having cancer at the age of 20. Following radiation, she's been in remission now for 11 years. And along the way, the family's also been working through the adversity of other uncertain times. I served in the military for 10 and a half years. I spent four of those years downrange in Iraq. I'm a very motivated individual, a very strong individual, but there's even some things like worrying if your husband's even going to come home, if your kid's even going to have a dad, that can take a toll on you. And so you need to learn to rely on other people. With five kids, two full-time jobs, and training schedules, there's definitely a give or take between both of us. Training can be five to six days a week. The height of training we're talking six to seven hours. So it's definitely a commitment you need to make with yourself, but also with your family. There's times that I have mother's guilt or wife guilt that I'm away from my family, but you can fix that by being very intentional for the times that you're home, that you're focused on your family. We can't always be giving to our career and to our families and not having any self-care. And for me, that's what triathlon is. So I competed in Raleigh 70.3 this past year and Ironman had reached out and asked if I could do an Ironman Minute. I show up at the expo, they pull me into a side room, they sit down and they start interviewing me, asking me all the standard questions. And then at the very end, they said they had one more thing for me. They pulled out a whiteboard and it was a bib for Kona with my name on it. As you know, this year is the 40th anniversary of Ironman. And we'd like to invite you to come to the Ironman World Championships this year in Kyle Kona. No. You're lying! No! No, no, no. Oh my god, you guys are filming me. <laughs> are you serious? Yes. No, no, you're you're joking. That's totally serious. You're going to Kona. Woo! <laughs> I'm going to Kona. My whole family is coming. All five kids on a plane for 12 hours. We'll see how that goes. That'll be the real test. <laughs> Kona for me is the granddaddy. I'm excited to see all the pros and the best age group athletes and be able to get to say I shared the same course with them. My real goal for Kona is to survive and finish, but overall, I just want to take in everything. Rachel Brenke, out of the water, and on the bike in her first Ironman World Championship. Rachel Branke, the working super mom of five, will get to the second transition at about 3.45 p.m. local time. She was on her bike for more than seven grueling hours, but somehow still has a smile on her face as she comes in. She takes just about eight minutes to prepare for the run, and then she's on her way out. 26.2 miles to go.
The sun is beginning to set in Kona. And while a mother makes her way back to town, her husband and five children anxiously await her at the finish line. A few months ago, Rachel Branke didn't even know she'd get the opportunity to be here. But now, she's part of one of the most emotional scenes in all of sports. There are hugs and kisses from her family, and another hug from a volunteer she bonded with at body marking at 5 o'clock this morning. 